Hey, what's up guys? Jackson here with Toasty DIY, and just like I promised you guys, you know, we gave you some footage of Zach's go-kart kind of getting it running and driving again, which we need to get some more video of that because it is really running and driving now. But now the one that was already running and driving with the Honda GX160 in it and basically good to go. I mean, I bought it, you know, from the place running and driving. Just really needs like a good tune-up now, oil change, and I need to get the butterfly to be able to open all the way so that we can actually get full throttle usage. So let's go ahead and just get the fiberglass up and see what we need to do to it. So this is a Formula K go-kart which is a 96 that's what this one is but it's funny enough i actually uh, needed to order some parts for zach's go-kart and i you know called them and they actually still make pretty much this exact same go-kart i asked the guy even i was like have you guys made any uh you know like major changes over the years and he's like honestly no these are pretty much how they come and uh you know brand new they're they're i think a little over five grand and they come with the um honda gx 160. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is probably one of the easiest tasks. We're gonna get the spark plug out. And when we go to put it back in, we're gonna put a little bit of uh, dielectric thermal grease right inside of here. And that'll just basically make it to where, you know, helps keep moisture out and also makes it to where you can get that boot off a lot easier. I normally would use a uh, spark plug socket for this, but there's like little, very, very little room um, between the actual uh, valve cover and the uh, spark plug so it's an mgk r plug and this one is the let's see bpr 6es i actually probably have some of these um, i'm almost positive i've used a ton of these um, in my dotsons pretty good color and everything there well the air filter housing let's see what our air filter looks like that's probably not going to be replaced it's probably going to be more of a just clean up yeah that still looks really good basically just kind of blow it out that definitely looks nice and dirty see yeah, this thing just needs a really good cleaning so here's that linkage i was talking about so whenever you press the throttle that little screw right there right there where i'm pointing my pointer finger is what's stopping it loosening loosening it might go we'll just go all the way first so we want to leave the screw in but go pretty far all right so yeah i got that little tab kind of bent a little bit so it's definitely adding a little more resistance now i'm just going to get a little bit of wd-40 up under that linkage and then we're gonna kind of work it in there a little bit. Yeah, that feels a lot better. Yeah, so one thing I did decide to do was actually get this steering wheel off and take the frame off. Cause I'm like, you know what? If I'm gonna clean this thing like properly.
All right, guys, so I'm gonna show and go you what I show you, what I have done so far, and then show you a nice little discovery I made that's not a very fun one. So uh, I got the uh, new spark plug in, we got the air filter clean, and we overall cleaned the engine. I just need to clean up this. This one got 10 W40 because, well, it's all they had at the store at the time, but we did make sure we got motorcycle oil and it's full synthetic, so really not necessary, but it was literally a dollar more than like the cheap. You can actually see how much fuel is inside the tank, so that's pretty nice. The fuel tank is only being held in with one screw. So if you look here, this engine mount bolt is loose, and then this one's not even seated all the way, so I'm just like, wow, wonderful. So. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tighten those two bolts up first before I forget. So we'll work on the oil change stuff and then we gotta do some welding, which uh, I don't know if I'll do it in this video or not, but let's find out. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started on the oil change since like I said, the uh, welding will have to just come in another video. Get this drain plug out. Um, I just, I'm just using like these little clear, uh, you know, like party style cups. I'm just gonna let that drain and once that cup fills up, I'm just gonna try to quickly swap it out for another cup and I'll just go back and forth. It'll be a little more difficult now. It was easy on paper. Just gonna move this cup over without dipping my other cup or without spilling it. I'm having a multitask here. Just as I suspected, um, on the other side, just like the Harbor Freight engines, um, the dipstick is actually here. So one other thing I went ahead and did too, is I actually tilted the um, whole entire go-kart back because as you can see, we still have quite a bit of oil coming out. Um, so I basically just jacked up the front end uh, drip at this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the drain plug back in and I feel pretty pretty satisfied uh, since we didn't see a bunch of dirty oil coming out anymore. Now obviously, if all of your oil oil didn't drain for whatever reason, you weren't on a level surface, you didn't give it long enough, then you might not hold 0.6, it might be a little less, so. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, rinse and repeat. So on the wet clutch, we're gonna go ahead and crack this drain plug loose. Now this one's a 17 millimeter instead of a 10 millimeter and I think the threads are gonna much shorter, so. Everything um, in, in my, my OSHA sense is fighting me right now because I'm just not not doing good at uh, being quick about not getting oil on things. So so yeah, that um that was almost two cups worth there. It actually, yeah, about the exact same as the engine held. Ooh, that time I didn't spill any. Good job, Jackson. All right. So motorcycle oil is like some of the more expensive oil. Some of that clean oil come through. All right, yeah, that looks good. Nice, okay. So like I said, just, just helping to get some of the debris that might be out of the bottom there. So we're gonna go ahead and let that drain just a little bit. And then we're gonna put our drain plug in there. I can definitely tell you that it was a beaut. <laughs> oh. Go ahead and snug this up here and just, you know, fill it. I'm gonna use about half of this or what I think is half and then I'm gonna check with the dipstick. All right, so just to go over a little recap what all we did. So we went ahead and changed the engine oil and we also changed out the wet clutch oil. Now this isn't always applicable to, I would say probably most go-karts out there. Uh, most people aren't gonna have a wet clutch. They're just gonna have a you know, centrifugal clutch or they're gonna have a torque converter, which neither of those typically are, are oil uh, cooled or lubricated. Um, but this is obviously just a little bit of like a, a fancier unit. We cleaned out the fuel tank and really brushed it off. I'm gonna go ahead and get that mounted back on. I'm just gonna go ahead and sign off on this video. So see you guys in the next one, peace out.